Greetings, R. Smalik here. I am once again on Realm Smalik. I'm just doing some general uh, maintenance and ta uh, updates today. Nothing major. Uh, the big projects that I'm going to be working on are filling that museum with exhibits. And um, I, since I moved the doghouse out of the pool behind me there, I'm going to be moving the, um, or I'm going to be redoing the entranceway to the pool, I think. And I'm going to be probably making it like a bathhouse. Uh, huh, I thought I could see my face when I was flying. But I guess not. Oh. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to check the hot potato. And I am thinking about starting a new round of flag capture. So check the announcement board up in the announcement room if you're on the server, if there's a new round. Uh, it looks like Boona Boy is working on his next portion of his border control puzzle, but these exclamation marks mean don't look at this yet because it's not ready. I kind of wish you would get everything ready and then put the quest starter in instead of just leaving it there for days and days, but whatever. Let's see if there's any new shops or anything in Chinatown. Uh, there is. <laughs> Bob's Shop. Don't hurt Bob. I want to see if he's named. He is named. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, this is totally new. Holy cow, I didn't know this was here. This is great. A nice corner location. What is this? Another heck shop? Hey, don't try to take my clothes. I'm a person. Can I help you find anything special? Hex by hex box only. Ah. Oh, look at these dressing rooms. Wait, are these dressing rooms or are these pay by the hour bedrooms? Oh, you can automatically try stuff on. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. That's funny. Uh, I broke broke it because I was wearing something. I didn't know that happened. There's a stripper pole. Oh my gosh, this is this is funny. Oh, uh, where can I put stuff back? I love those dudes up there. Very nice, very nice. Here, we'll put some of these back. I just don't know what this shop is called. Maybe it's not open for business, although I think he would have blocked it off. Very nicely done, Falm. Excellent. Wait, maybe if I mouse over, sometimes he puts an item frame. Nope. Don't know what this shop is called, but that's perfect. It's up here in the upscale district. Excellent. And then we'll go down to the low rent district. See if any have been added down here. I somehow doubt it. I always forget that I put that there. The available shop. So there's only one left in the in the uh, low rent district. And now let's go check for potato potato. And then I'm going to have to switch characters to give the prize. But we can go ahead and look at it this way. Uh, today, by the way, is the 21st of April. And I have no idea who might have the potato. Let's see. Oh, actually, I do have an idea of who has the potato. I just remembered. Yep. Baker Bell. Uh, she just went out on vacation after this was already placed. So Baker Bell's going to be the loser. And let's see who won. Uh, I gave it to Technoscribe. Technoscribe gave it to Baker Bell three days ago. So Technoscribe is the winner. All right, let me put this back in here until I go get the prizes. And then we will hide it again. All right, so for the loser, we have a wet sponge to, to dampen those hot potato-y hands. And for the winner, we have an enchantment book. This is Frostwalker 2. So hot fingers and cold feet. Congrats, Technoscribe. Welcome once again to the server. I'm going to go ahead and blank this out. 
And we're going to do April 21st. Our Smalik will give it to somebody who shall remain a mystery till they find it in their mailbox. Ah, here's something I haven't noticed before. Orchids by the order. Uh, amazingly enough, I literally just came out of my house because I needed to get a blue orchid. And I was about to go over to spawn. So I would say that coincidence uh, is pretty cosmic, actually. That's, wow, nice. All right, and f uh, capture the flag round three is now active. Uh, just a reminder, you are looking for flags similar to this, but they're going to have black. So this is a black flag with a metal pole on a white background. You're looking for black backgrounds with colored flags, colored triangles. There are 14 of them hidden around the realm. Um, there's a good number of them kind of within the what I consider the spawn town. Then there's some outliers. And no, they are all on man-placed blocks. So none of them are like just out in the random wilderness on a tree. They're all on something that we've built. Um, there are 14 flags, and this this round, uh, the way that you turn them in, you find it, you break it off of whatever it's on. Don't break the blocks, just break the flag. And then uh, take it, rename it, and put it in the Ars Malik mailbox. Very easy. Rename it with your name, so I know who turned it in. I mean, I guess you could rename it with someone else's name. That's fine, too. If you're working in teams, you, could, you, could, you guys could team up for this one if you want to, actually, and name it with Team X, Team Y. Uh, there is one additional twist. So this time, the 14 flags, each flag is going to be worth a number of points. And the points are based on the color values of wool and other blocks. So for example, orange wool, if you can see the word orange wool in the tooltip, and then it says in parentheses, pound sign 0035, that's block number 35, the data value is 1. So the orange flag is worth one, the magenta is worth two, et cetera, et cetera. Lime is worth three, red is worth 14. The only exception to this is the white flag, which has a data value of zero. I'm making that worth 16 points, I believe, because black is the highest. Yep, 16. Uh, so the total possible number of points is 114. So there may be two different winners this round. One winner for whoever turns in the most flags, and then one winner for whoever scored the most points for the total number of flags turned in. So it's possible, let's say that I turned in like four flags, and I turned in the one, the two, the three, and the four, right? So that would give me 10 points, but let's say somebody else only turned in the blue flag, which is worth 11 points. So you might have won the number of flags turned in, but they would have won for the most points turned in, even though they turned in far fewer flags. Just an example. So I hope this adds another twist. Um, this basically is meant to encourage people to go out and explore portions of the realm that they haven't seen in a while or, uh, or just didn't know about. Um, and as a reminder to folks on the realm, uh, there is a Google Doc, which is an offline, it's a private document for us. It's a realm directory, and it lists a lot of different places around the map. I think it lists all the important places, although uh, if you have recently built something like, I know, for example, Cold Fusion Gaming is in the middle of building uh, a new thing somewhere off in this direction. That's not in the document yet, so I don't know what chords it's at. Um, but if you are new to the server uh, and you're not sure where everything is at, take a look at that. It has most everything in it. And in fact, if you have a house that you recently built and you did not update the Google Doc, put the coordinates of your house in there so people can come check it out and bring you housewarming gifts. All right, so that's pretty much it. I am... Um, I may not be on quite as much for the next, I would say, week. I will be on, but not quite as much, uh, only because I am working on uh, a build for a map build for a project that will be announced publicly later. But you should know what it is, or you should at least have a hint if you think about it. 
if you're on the realm. And uh, second, secondly, I am working on um, I'm working on a bunch of other video projects. One is my reflection videos for Surviving Mindcrack Island. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that was a contest that was run in 2013 by the Mindcrack crew, and uh, we ba basically contestants were on a tropical island like the show Survivor, and we competed in challenges and voted each other off. So I'm uh, that's finally airing. So I'm busy doing reflection videos for that. Uh, I'm also playing a PC game, an old 2005 PC game called Lost via Domus. I love Lost. Um, it's interesting. <laughs> uh, not the best game, but it's somewhat entertaining to see me react to it, maybe. And then I am... Uh, uh, sorry, something caught my eye, and I couldn't remember what it was, but it's, the, it's one of the... Uh, uh, puzzle things from Hawk Miner. I forgot what it's called. Los, not Los Oscuros. Anyway, uh, and I'm also doing the Lost Rewatch or previously on Lost podcast with Felonious Wizard on my channel. Um, and something else that now I've forgotten. So, so yeah, I've got a couple other projects I just need to get a little bit ahead on and then I'll be back on the realm. Uh, you can... If you don't see me and you're dying to talk to me about a museum exhibit, just shoot me an email uh, or you can Skype me a message. Uh, otherwise, I will try to get on. And then, as I said, I'm going to probably next be working on the pool, uh, just crisping up the entryway to the pool, building maybe a ma male and female locker rooms uh, where the doghouse used to be. So um, that's it for an update video. Um, I am aware of a couple other projects going on on the realm, but I may save that for next time. So if you have something, uh, if you do have something new that you want people to be aware of, also remember, uh, actually new people might not even really be aware of this. I haven't shown this in a while. I should, I should show this. So in the town hall, if you go down to the middle level, here's Kaylin's newsroom and... She puts out a new newsletter every Friday. I'm going to go into S so I don't break her item frames here. Uh, they're quite extensive. They're colorful. Uh, they talk about what's new. There's an Ask Ron section. And then there's usually like some locations that she picks out. to, And then she talks about riddles. Very cool. So if you want to submit stories, you can leave them here. Or you can let her know, like in Skype or whatever. Here's the Ask Ron question book. She takes these, collates them. I answer them offline. Uh, and then she has new riddles every Tuesday. So let's see what the current riddle is. Riddle 19. I am in heaven, but not in hell. I am in the devil, but not in God. I'm in the river, but not in the sea. Oh, that's tricky. I'm thinking a bed, a river bed, or a mouth of a river. But I don't understand this part in a devil. Heaven has gates. Um, so, wow. I'll try to figure this out. Basically, what you do is you, you think of the riddle, and then you put this book back. You take a piece of paper. You... Oh, these must be old ones. You take a piece of paper, yeah they are, and you rename it with your answer and your name. So for example, an old riddle must have had the answer piano and then people put their names here. So just do it like that and then stick your answer in this hopper. It goes into her secure location. And then every week she looks at all the winners and she draws one of the winners for a prize in your mailbox. Speaking of weekly winners, we also have the Halcon Dojo here in Spawn, and this is one of our oldest attractions on the server. Basically, um, was a witch. Uh, basically, each week or each day, uh, Hawk Miner comes in and he creates a new challenge. And if you beat the challenge, which 
This one looks like kind of a parkourish challenge. Oh, it requires a friend. Oh, cool. I've never, uh, <laughs> I've never seen one like that. Basically, by beat, uh, to beat the challenge, you have to get these doors at the, at the other end to open. That's typically what you have to do. And then once inside, you place a sign with your name on it. And again, every week or every time he changes the dojo, he sees all the winning entries and then he randomly picks a new winner and he displays their banner out here outside the dojo for everyone to see. So, uh, you know, right in this video alone, there's at least three active, oh, four active recurring games that we play on the server that promote collaboration. And then there's always things, puzzles like Buna Boy's puzzle, which is in progress. Uh, Hawk Miner, his, he's working on the next layer of his puzzle. And uh, Jim Sack's working on a puzzle. So there's three puzzles in progress. And then I've got one in mind once those three are done and all the collaborative builds, etc. There's a lot to do on the server. If you may have forgotten any of those things, consider this a reminder. And I can't wait to see you guys online. Ciao.